be a quick overview of the Shoto One or the short Obi-Wan Kenobi um, A New Hope Saber. You need two, two different Allen keys for this one. Uh, the smaller one is used in order to remove the chassis. The larger one is used for blade retention. I'll show you where both of those are used in a few minutes. Um, overall, it is TCSS parts for emitter, neck, grenade. There's a sleeve here as well as the pommel and the sound vented cap. We have a Romans um, graphics clamp, Wonawonga bubbles, and the Romans transistors all weathered fairly nicely to help kind of make it look a little grungy but not too dirty. The blade uh, plug is currently in, but in order to put in a blade, I usually just kind of put my thumb on this lower black section. And then this is a reversed threaded flange. So no, the camera is not on a mirror. It does reverse thread out. This first retention screw you see is actually for the NeoPixel. Um, do not go undoing that one unless you actually want to unscrew like the neck because that will let the NeoPixel connector float. Um, you have one, two, three set screws for blade and blade plug retention. Um, right now, the emitter to neck section is not thread locked. Um, like you can see there, and I'm not going to move it very far because I don't want to go snapping any wires. If you do want to thread lock that one, um, just again, loosen this so that the NeoPixel can slide around and you should be in good shape to lift it off far enough to drop in some thread lock. This has some pretty long threading on it. Um, it is a single button setup underneath the bubble strip. It is on the front end of the bubble strip. You'll see there's a small clamp card uh, inserted in. It has a pin that goes down through the grenade section to hit the button on the chassis itself. So that means the clamp itself never really has to be loosened up or removed from the hilt itself. The chassis retention screw is hidden just barely make it out right there inside the opening of the clamp itself. Before we go doing that, the bottom section, the pommel can remove and it will give you access to the kill switch and also the booster and associated sleeve can remove, which gives you better access when you're actually inserting the chassis in and lining it up. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave both of those off so we can see what we're doing here. Kill switch, 28 mil speaker, uh, a Profi 2.2. It has a set of stock connectors here, as well as an extra one in the emitter so it does light up. We'll turn it on. Oh, he's not dead. Not yet. Obviously, single button on, press and hold off or swing on, twist off. Uh, it does have a number of currently Obi-Wan related kyberphonic fonts on it. So there's quotes in each of the fonts. There's all kinds of little goodies that he includes all the time. This for the chassis is where you use the smaller retention screw. If I can find the hole in the dark, there it is. You want to back this off a fair amount and then the chassis will slide out. I'm going to leave that in the screw for a second. You have an 18350. There's a stock connector itself. Single button. If you do want to do a second button, um, you drill the hole in the little plastic in the clamp card on the back end, carry that hole through the grenade and just basically mark it here. You can add the extra switch, wire a hole right here if you wanted to add it, and then just solder it straight to the board. Uh, the board does have some E6000 on it. You pull it forward and then start tilting it up with the battery out, and the board will come out. For right now, these two lips will not prevent it from lifting upwards out of the chassis itself. That is 
pretty much the overview of the chassis. Putting it back in is fairly straightforward and simple. Um, usually it's easier when the camera is not between me and the hilt, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. So the trick is line up the center of the bubbles with the kill switch. You can kind of hold it in place and you'll be, you'll be able to feel it. Click it. You'll want to make sure the gap here is closed. And then just snug. that screw so that the chassis can't lift out. And the jungle and wastes are not to be traveled lightly. When inserted correctly and the clamp is lined up properly, that button press is very light, um, so it should be easy enough for um, most hands to be able to, to activate, do all the controls. We shall close this up and I'll show it what it sounds like with the horn. Definitely picks up more bass with the palm on because there's some more resonance in there. Shoto One Kenobi. Um, if there's any questions, by all means, hit me up.